Hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Update. Well, as you can see behind me is a picture of the debit card you will be getting if you don't get a paper check. Like I said, phase one of the, the stimulus checks are already started. And basically, this basically phase one is direct deposit. Phase two is also a direct deposit. The last phase is paper and debit cards. Uh, like I said, I haven't received my stimulus check yet. As I let you guys know, last time I reported, I keep checking, but nothing. I figure it'll be like a paper check or a debit card, which is no big deal. It'll be used quite wisely to keep my car alive. It, it's sort of coughing along and wheezing a bit, so gotta you know keep it alive. <laughs> um, basically, what I got for you guys today. I mean, I, hopefully, actually. He's, very nice for you. I actually got the version of a more cleaner, greener America. If if, if we actually had like universal health care and and more renewable energy sources. But if you're an American like I am, you live in the richest, most powerful nation in the history of the world. We have almost endless resources that could be used to solve any problem that we face. We could fund universal health care, which would even save us money. We could fund climate change mitigation measures. We could fund free higher education, better infrastructure, public transportation. We could end homelessness, build state-of-the-art schools, libraries, parks, and hospitals. We could ensure every American worker is compensated fairly for their work. We could have the American dream. Instead, all that money goes to the military to fund intervention in other countries. It goes to tax breaks for corporations. It goes to bailing out criminal industries that destroy the planet and the lives of countless human beings. Marxism, socialism, communism, pick whichever scary word you want. They represent the rejection of our dystopian state of affairs. They stand for the expansion of human freedom, for the acknowledgement of universal rights, for kindness, decency, and care for the less fortunate. Just take along with that one. Plus, I got a great one of Donald Trump Jr., trying to defend his father, Donald Trump. Let's see how that one works out, right? You see that moronic speech last night? I mean, we're used to Joe Biden bumbling through. An anomalous, really an anomalous. He took credit for things he had nothing to do with. But we had the greatest economy ever in the history of our world. Because let's not forget, literally everything that Joe Biden is now drafting off of was set up by the Trump administration. If we didn't do any testing, we would have very few cases. Could be the testing's, frankly, uh, overrated. There was no plan. Got a nice little speech from Barack Obama. Donald Trump. Don't boo. Vote. Don't boo. Vote. Booing doesn't help. Voting helps. Donald Trump is uniquely unqualified to be president. He is temperamentally unfit to be commander in chief. Don't take my word for it. Take the word of a lot of the Republicans who were saying this before they decided politically that it was convenient to support him. And then some of them decided politically it was inconvenient to support them again. And they keep on doing backflips. But think about what they said at the outset. That he was a con man. That he didn't have the temperament to do the job. And plus, they also got breaking news on the continuing investigation on Donald Trump and electoral fraud as well as, I'm guessing, tax fraud as well. I mean, it's new evidence in the criminal probe we've been covering in Georgia. Here was Donald Trump on the call with a Georgia investigator. And listen for the day he mentions. Do you think they'll be working after Christmas to keep it going fast? Because, you know, we have that date of the 6th, which is a very important date. A very important date. This goes to the evidence about what was the conscious and intentional plot. Trump would, Trump would continue with the pressure campaign. Something happened, I mean, something bad happened. The people of Georgia are so angry at what happened to me that when the right answer comes out, you'll be praised. They, they will be praised. The people will say, great. Whatever you can do, Francis, it would be, uh, it's a great thing. It's an important thing. The wonderful governor of Texas, Governor Abbott, trying to backpedal on removing the mask mandate in Texas. It has not suddenly disappeared. 
even though we issue this executive order, doesn't mean COVID is gone. What it means is that we no longer need government running your lives. Instead, everybody must continue to assume their own individual responsibility to take the actions that they have already mastered to make sure that they will not be contracting COVID-19. Back pedal, back pedal, back pedal. That's all this motherfucker is doing is back pedaling now. Hey, Abbott, do you not understand that some people are, um, dumb? And they need regulation and they need mandates to remain so they are told what they're doing because they're not going to remember this shit. Do you not understand that, dude? It's a pattern in human history. How do you not know that? Jeez. So if you'll stick with me for those short clips, I will be happy <laughs> and I'll be thanking you for it. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.